really do look so weird when I don't wear glasses. Hey guys, so it is time to start my July writing vlog, which would be fine if we didn't only have a week left of July. Oops. Um, I haven't really got an excuse except for the fact that it's just been really, really hot and the last thing I've wanted to do is just sit and write with like a hot laptop. Not that my laptop gets that hot, but you know what I mean. Um, so I haven't done anywhere near as much as I've wanted to. I have done little bits, but not not anything where like I've really had something to tell you guys or something to talk about and actually I've been writing a lot at night when it's cooler and then I can't really film anything because at the moment I'm staying with my mum because of like all my housing housing drama so um that's what's going on with that I am still editing the early chapters I don't quite know why it's taken me so long I think it's because in my head I know that the beginning has to really pull you in and I find it quite hard to write these sections because this is a point where Violet, my main character, is... She's she's not the most like chatty person in her head and until she's with the other characters she's not the easiest per to, person to write. I love writing her but she's not that. She's much easier to write when she's got like someone else to like kind of bounce off. Um, so, but Suze is coming over today, my friend Suze, um, and we're going to try and find somewhere to write. We want to try and find somewhere that's like a little bit cooler, maybe, because it's just so hot. So we want to try and find someone with air cons. So we might go like to a library or to a little cafe or something, just somewhere we can sit and write. So hopefully that will happen because I'm really in the mood to write. It's just, it's just so hot and sticky. It's just, it's just horrendous. I cannot deal with this heat. I cannot deal with it. So got my computer which is actually really filthy and could probably do with a clean and yeah just waiting for Suze and then we will be off so our plan didn't work everywhere was too hot so we've just come back and we're just going to write here instead Suze is here say hello Suze hello I'm not making her up she's real um but yeah it's just really really hot so I don't know how much we're going to get done but hopefully a little bit she also brought me some mint imperials which always help me write so let's go hey guys so it's almost the end of the month and i know that this writing vlog is going to be the shortest one that's ever gone up on my channel um that's fine because that happens sometimes i haven't really written that much this month because it's been so so hot I just haven't felt like writing when, you know, I felt like I, I'm, you know, going to melt. So, um, this is going to be, this is definitely going to have been like the shortest one that I've done, but that's fine. Um, I think it's important to kind of show those months when I really haven't done a lot. Obviously last month I didn't put up a video at all because I literally didn't do anything. But this month, even though I've done less, um, I'm still going to upload it because I think it's important to show, you know, the small achievements because the small achievements are just as big, um, or just as important as the big ones. So um i'm gonna do some more today i actually wrote quite a lot the other day um i wrote about it on twitter if you don't follow me on twitter you can the information's down below um and i was talking about it on twitter and basically i wrote loads when we had a thunderstorm and there was a blood moon and so now i'm basically convinced that i'm a witch because i read back what i wrote and it's probably one of my most favorite things that I've ever written like it's so dark but the scene is so important and I've had this scene in my head so many times I've written this scene so many times in different ways changing things around and it's always kind of felt quite juvenile I've never been able to write it in a way that hasn't come across as like you know just I don't know just just cheap I guess and the way that I wrote it the other day I'm just so proud of it and I just feel so proud of like the project at the moment um it's taken me a lot longer than what I thought I think I kind of had it in my head that I would get through like editing really quickly but actually there's still a lot that I'm changing and you know I'm spending like half an hour on like one paragraph because I know that it's not perfect and this is the point where I am supposed to be doing that I'm supposed to be you know turning this into a book rather than just like a draft that's Got potential like you know this is this is crunch time so it's taking longer than I thought but I'm gonna do some writing today um so hopefully I will get a lot done and I can update you um I think it's been quite difficult to kind of do the writing vlog as well because I'm actually um staying with my mum at the moment and I'm just 
like she's just popped out and i couldn't really sit here and chat like this with her in the next room because she'd be like who are you talking to and i'd be like nobody nothing so um yeah i'm gonna keep you guys updated um as much as i can and yeah this is a very short vlog but you know what sometimes that happens and sometimes that's life so gonna get some writing done today and fingers crossed it goes as well as it did the other day i feel like it well i'm just in the mood for it today you know like sometimes you're just in the mood to write and i think that's good obviously you need to write at times when you don't feel like writing you need to write at times when you're not inspired because otherwise you will never get anything done but today i'm in the mood for it so let's go Hey guys, so I wanted to um, catch up with you quickly before I upload this month's writing vlog because it is very short and I finished last night um, just kind of saying, Dad, because my mum was asleep um, and I didn't want to like sit here and chat while she was asleep in the next room, which is why it's so weird. It's so weird to be staying with my mum. So basically um, the month was, I wouldn't say a letdown, I guess I would just say that it wasn't as productive as I would have liked it to be. Um, it's taking me a lot longer to write these scenes than, or to edit these scenes than I thought it would. Um, and I kind of came to this, I guess you would say, kind of realisation last night. And that is that the editing process is not fun. Which I know you're probably thinking like, <laughs> shock horror. It's not fun. It's not easy. But what it is, it's satisfying. And I think... I never, I've never seen such a huge shift in my writing from like obviously last, the last phase was the rewrite and it's kind of been, um, I guess some things were new, some things were old, I was, you know, stitching things together from previous drafts, I was incorporating lots of new things and now I'm kind of going through it and it's like ironing out all the kinks, it's there's, there was a scene that I wrote last night which had always, always been in my head but I just never got around to writing it and every time I did a draft I forgot, and oh, that sounds really stupid but um, it was just this little bit that was at the end of a scene that I always forgot it and I wrote it last night and it stitched together the previous stuff with this stuff really, really well and it was like so satisfying to sit there and read through it and be like, this is actually good, you know, like none of us as writers ever want to kind of really blow our own trumpets but at the same time like if you don't then who else will and I think it's okay to be proud when you've done something and you're really proud of it you know like it's okay to say you know I did this and it's good and I'm happy with it like it's not perfect of course it's not perfect but I'm really really happy with how it's going and I just feel really really proud of myself because like some of you guys know how obviously how difficult things have been um in like the last well technically year <laughs> um to the day today um the last year has been incredibly difficult and i'm finally kind of like coming well i finally am out the other side um and it's just been very very hard to focus on writing and i have and i'm just really pleased with how it's how it's turned out and it's just incredibly satisfying to see it really come together. I wrote some sentences last night that I am just so proud of. They were just so visual and vivid. And I'm just so excited to see the rest of it come together. Because if this is what the first 10,000 words are like, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see the rest. It's taking so long. It is taking so long. But I am immensely proud of it. And I am very, very proud of myself. So... I just kind of wanted to end this month on that really because it's an incredibly short writing vlog and I guess that could kind of make it look as if it was you know not that I wasn't proud of it but I am I'm very very proud of it so yeah onwards and upwards and I will see you next month Luna are you clawing the carpet?
Do you want a treat? Your breath stinks. <laughs>